When it comes to Hollywood paydays, they can be all over the place depending on how new you are to Hollywood and also how big of a profile the character you are playing is. Well, we now just recently found out how much She-Hulk actress Tatiana Maslany made for She-Hulk. So let's talk about this. So according to all reports that we have on She-Hulk, Tatiana Maslany made $50,000 per episode of She-Hulk, which obviously puts her right under 500,000. Now, when it comes to paydays, this obviously is pretty big, all things considered. And I'm putting this in the perspective of Marvel Studios castings. Remember Chris Evans as Captain America, 175,000 reportedly. Chris Hemsworth, 100. And many of these first-time actors that are kind of uh, hoping to make it big in the MCU, are not getting the biggest paydays for their first handful of appearances. But when they bring them back, when they renegotiate contracts, that's when you get up into the multi-millions of dollars per appearance. We've seen this with Robert Downey Jr. We saw this with Chris Hemsworth. For the last Thor film, it's reported he made close to $25 million by the time it was all said and done. So you can see how it stacks and you start off on the smaller side of things and then obviously you're going to make more. And to put this in perspective, if you look at like CW actors, for example, they're also making way less than what she made here. But again, the difference there is obviously Disney Plus and Marvel Studios, CW, DC show. So it's kind of all over the place. In my opinion, I think she made way more than honestly most MCU stars on their first appearance. Yeah, you're going to get the occasional, oh yeah, Oscar Isaac made more than her. But yeah, he was also in Star Wars, and he's Oscar Isaac, and way more known than Tatiana Maslany was, right? I mean, yeah, she had awards and stuff, but again, it's been quite a long time since Orphan Black. So, you kind of see what's going on here, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see just how much she makes for a potential Season 2, and then other appearances. Because by then, there's going to be renegotiations, and I'm assuming she's going to become one of the highest paid actors in the MCU eventually at the time she's there.